Hello once again everyone, welcome to another Hideaway League coverage battle. Today I am versing Fiox, the poison type gym leader. Now, my team, as you can see, is... it's alright, so uh, <laughs> let's get into this battle, shall we? So first off, I send out Calrissian, my lander's T. Uh, Fiox sends out his Needle King. Uh, Initially, this is a really bad matchup for me uh, because this Needle King is going to immediately go for his um, Ice Beam, but uh, he switches out into Lungs, expecting me to switch out into something. Not entirely sure what, uh, or expecting me to go for the uh, Choice Scarfed Earthquake. But I switch out into Kyogre, my Primal Kyogre. Um, because I think, hey, th this, could be, this could be the best bet for me. Um, so now, on his team, I know he's got an Amoongus, so I'm pretty sure he's going to switch into it at this point, and I am correct. Uh, Fiox withdraws his Weezing and goes into Fungi, his Amoongus. And now I predict this, and I go for Calm Mind to try and set up with my Kyogre. Um, so uh, I know this thing's going to go for a Spore. Uh, so I'm thinking, I'm hoping Ice Beam is going to take this thing out. Now this thing must be specially defensive, like invested, because it just misses the takedown. Uh, either that or I got a low roll. I didn't have calcs up at this point. And it goes for Spore, putting my Kyogre to sleep, which um, is a little bit bad for me. Um, and Fun Guy was drawing his help with Black Sludge. Now he goes to, he switches out and goes to Green Hornet, his Beedrill, which is going to be his Mega Beedrill, because that's the only way you would actually have a Beedrill on your team, as if it's Mega. And this thing proves to be a bit of an annoyance for me. Um, I hate Mega Beedrill. And due to these Hideaway League games, I hate Mega Beedrill even more. So it goes for Protect. Uh, hoping to live its first turn as a Mega Beetle so it can get its speed boost and attack boosts next turn because that's what you want to use Mega Beetle for. So he goes for U-turn, takes off a hefty chunk of our health which is terrifying uh, and he'll switch out into Drapion. And I'm, I'm just staying in with Kyogre here because I think either he's going to be dead weight or I can wake up. So he wakes up and goes for Origin Pulse. Uh, which is really good for us. I believe this will one-shot this Drapion because a plus one Kyogre in the rain using Origin Pulse, that's terrifying. That should take down pretty much anything. Um, goes into Green Hornet again uh, and is going to U-turn. Um, so I switch out with Kyogre, predicting this, uh, and I the Heavy Rain lifts because Primary Seat is no longer in check. And I go to Gurman, my rough skin, rocky head um, Garchomp. So he goes for his U-turn, takes a heck of damage off of us, gets rough skin damage, and then gets his rocky helmet damage. Oh, I'm not holding the rocky helmet. What am I holding then? Ah, I remember taking the wrong, yeah, I remember taking the wrong um, Garchomp for this. So he goes for Will-O-Wisp. I believe I am a tank Garchomp. I should have been Stealth Rocks because that would have been so much better for this because because I don't set up Stealth Rocks this Beedrill is going to start running rings around me which is absolutely horrible. Leftovers pops and starts healing up his Weezing. Now at this point uh, um, my Garchomp's a bit goosed here so I'm just I'm just letting it take me down uh, I'm just keeping this Garchomp in until it eventually fades and then I get a safe switch into something else. Uh, so I I believe I'm Scar, I'm Choice Banded, I think, am I? Or am I just slow? I can't remember. So he switches back out into mine here. His Needle King, his Sheer Force Life Orb Ring, hold, Life Orb Holding Needle King. Uh, I get Stone Edge off on him, but it does nothing because of his new ground type and I'm burned. Uh, the only thing I would be able to get uh, good damage off is if I had gotten crit because it ignores stat drops. Um, so we send in Kyogre here because um, I'm thinking I can just go for an Origins Pulse here. I'll do super effective damage or neutral damage to anything else he switches in. So he's going to send in his fun guy here and I believe I predict it. No I don't predict it, I just go for the Origin Pulse um, and this should take out his fun guy. 
It does, it takes out his fun guy, which is fantastic. I thought this was the battle I predicted, uh, use the ice beam, or was that a different battle? I can't remember. Oh, it doesn't take him out, so I go for a second order the pulse. Um, I really should have calm-minded here, but, um, I didn't make a good enough read, I just immediately clicked the move. So Green Hornet comes in here. I'm going to do as usual. U-turn, take out our Kyogre. And then safely switch back into his party. Um, the this, this battle just kind of shows how annoying Mega Beedrill is. And I, I really, really hate Mega Beedrill. It's so annoying. So we sent in dial-up our Metagross. I believe this is my Mega Variant. Yeah, it's my Mega Variant of dial-up. Um, so we Mega Evolve into Mega Metagross. And I believe I'm, I'm a way to go for Zen Headbutt. But Nidoking is faster. And I don't realize this. And we just live. We just managed to live on five hit points. And we Zen Headbutt this Nidoking out of the game. Um, I believe he got a, a low roll with that Earth Power, which is such a blessing. So uh, Green Horde comes in um, to pick up the kill. Uh, I switch out here. I don't know what I was thinking here, switching out into Calrissian, but I, I think it was he might have just been... Oh no, I switched in to get the Intimidate drop, and because I think he was going to use Drill Run, but now thinking about it, he was obviously going to go for U-Turn. Um, because that would have done just enough damage to take out Mega Metagross. Um, I don't know why I was thinking you'd go for Drill Run. Uh, I think I was just being hopeful. That way I'd actually be able to maybe potentially get something off on this uh, Mega B Drill. So long as Weezing comes back in, he's going to burn me at this point with Will Wisp. And I set up my Stealth Rocks, but just a little bit too late in the game. If I'd stayed in first turn and used my Stealth Rocks, we would have been sitting so much better. Um, because that beetle wouldn't have been able to switch as much as it did and it would have gotten chip damage and hopefully like a bullet punch or something would have taken it out but unfortunately we played that first turn wrong so we go for the knockoff knocking off its leftovers or its black sludge one of the two uh, knocking off its leftovers it goes for flamethrower uh, it does barely anything to calrissian and the burn takes a little bit more damage off of him um, I predicted him switching out into something, so I'm just going to keep spamming knockoff here um, because it's the best I can do. I can't hit him with Earthquake, and U turn at this point would be a bit useless. So, knockoff's the only thing I can really do here to this Weezing. And it's going to take me out with this final flamethrower, um, allowing me to switch into, uh, I believe, my Mega Metagross. Do I switch in here? Yeah, I'm switching to Mega Metagross, and I go for the Zen Headbutt. Um, and this should take out this Weezing. So Weezing goes down to the Zen Headbutt because, let's face this, what is what is living as a Zen Headbutt from uh, Mega Metagross? Um, uh, Green Hornet comes in. Pointed Stones digging into it. Uh, it goes for Drill Run because I don't have Bullet Punch on this Metagross, which is really, really stupid. I believe I had Fire Punch, Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, and... Um, suit so it didn't really do much so uh, I send my Tyr Tyranitar in Sandstorm kicks up um, Green Hornet uses U-turn this I believe this takes me out just one shots me yeah just straight up one shots me and, and that's when I'm realizing holy hell this Mega Beedrill is so so scary it's far more powerful than I gave it credit for so this is when he sends in his Arceus his poison type Arceus and I don't really have much of an answer for this thing. Um, so I send in Mithras my Jolteon, hoping beyond hope Jolteon can pick up some sort of kill. But judgment will come down, raining down upon us in this sandstorm, and it almost, almost takes me out. I get another turn in. Um, and this is a choice specs Jolteon. It's the only set I ever run because Jolteon's so fast anyway. Uh, there's no point running a choice scarf on it. Um, although I might one day. Um, 
so I managed to take out this Arceus with a Thunderbolt, uh, but at this point, the, uh, the Beetle's going to come in and just take the game. Um, I didn't have much of an answer for this Beedrill, unfortunately. Um, so, he takes me out with a Poison Jab. That's a, an adaptability Poison Jab, and there's nothing living that at, you know, a third health. And I lose against Fiox, which is such a shame, but it was a really, really good battle, and I did learn a lot from it. I chatted with him afterwards, and we went over some of the bad plays I made, like uh, initially the, the turn one play, um, where I could have stayed putting my stealth rocks, um, because I should have known that Scarf Landorus is faster than a, um, a Needle King, but I, I believe it is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I should have set, set up Stealth Rocks there. I should have calm-minded predicting a switch with Kyogre. That would have made my um, my match so much easier and probably in my favour as well. But there we go. That's the gym battle against Fiox, the Poison-type gym leader. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you've liked this video. Subscribe to see more coverage of the Hideaway League and I will see you all in the next battle. Goodbye, ladies and gents. Goodbye.